will be chosen will be chosen person um i want me to watch the video small yes um the things the way it happened for person where it be chosen chosen by god you know as we did for the world so people in the way they get special give them people in the way they get special anointing that one i tell you know we don't feel denial because most of, of our lives depend most of our lives or most of the things that are happening to us they first of all happen in the spiritual right so most of us we don't know some of these things then but i want to tell you say make you watch this just watch up watch and see something three yes, types of people that every chosen person must be careful of it does not matter where you are as long as you are chosen by god you will come across these three types of people i'm about to talk to you about whether intentionally or accidentally as long as you are a child of destiny you will come across these people the first group is what i call the judas group the judas kind of people we call them frenemies this ones they befriend you before they destroy you in most cases you have a weak spot for them but they have a wicked spot for you it is not really difficult to see their true colors it's just that most people when they see these colors they turn a blind eye these are destiny destroyers just as we have destiny helpers we also have destiny destroyers they will walk with you and they will labor with you as long as nothing good is happening to you but as soon as god starts lifting you up as soon as you start coming out of the cocoon as soon as you start walking on your god given assignment or walking on your purpose their true colors will show and they will start hating anything good around you and anybody who's jealous of your success can easily betray you you need to stop compromising in the name of i have a history with this person just because you have a history with somebody it does not mean you have a future with them most people can tolerate you as long as you are a nobody most people can tolerate you as long as there is nothing special about you but as soon as god himself reveal you to you or reveal you to them and they see the greatness that god has put in you they will have a problem not with you but they will have a problem with what god has put in you and trust me they are dangerous and how do you identify them in most cases they will actually befriend people who have publicly declared you as an enemy never trust anybody who calls you a friend yet hangs out with people who don't like you if you don't believe me ask jesus number 2 and here you need to be very careful is what i call household enemies this is not somebody from outside but this is a family member hating and fighting what god has put in you this is where a sister fights a sister brother fighting a brother as long as you are chosen by god you will have and you will come across what i call household enemies this is household wickedness and most people will compromise in the name of this is my blood this is my brother this is yet the enemy uses that platform to shut you down and to really destroy you When you read the Bible you realize that there is a young man called Joseph. He is not being fought by people from outside. As soon as he started sharing what God has revealed to him about him. That's where the brothers started having a problem with him. Your family members will not have a problem with you until you start walking in your calling. As soon as they see that the enemy uses them because those are 
the first group of people that have access to you and they use this thing of we know you, we have seen you grow, we know who you are, we know what you're capable of. Not understanding that at this point in time, it is no longer just you, but it is you in partnership with God. And as a result, God has chosen you. So it's beyond where you come from. It's actually more about where God is taking you. So they will fight you. And every time you see this, don't allow it to shut you down. Don't allow it to crush you. Don't allow it to silence you. Every chosen person will come across such. So you need to be careful in a way that you don't allow it to destroy you. Joseph himself did not allow it to destroy him. David did not allow it to destroy him. Last but not least, opportunists. And of course, that brings us to the third type of people. We call them pretenders. This one's, the name says it all. They are opportunists, they are pretenders. They are not into your life because they care or they love you. They are not with you because they are for you. They are with you because they saw an opportunity. And they are simply capitalizing on that opportunity. As long as everything is fine, they will be for you or they will be with you, so to say. But once things start going crazy, there won't be anywhere to be found. Once you start facing challenges, once you start facing difficulties, they will disappear like they were never there. You call them, you look for them, but they won't be uh, anywhere to be located. You will try your best, but you won't locate them. And that is because they are always looking for somebody to help them further their agenda. I'll also give an example. You can be with them and they can be with you, and all of a sudden, for no reason, the next thing, they are no longer with you. And you start wondering, what did I do to this person? Wow, how come I've done so much for this person? And the next thing, they just left like that. It's because from the beginning, they were never with you. They were actually there because they had seen an opportunity. And this time around, they had located somebody who's helping them and who's going to help them further their agenda. And this one's they drain your strength. They drain your energy in that sense, right? For a lack of a better word, they will drain you. And if you are not careful, you invest in them. And the more you invest in them, the more you lose yourself, the more you lose your calling. Be careful of these three types of people because as long as you are chosen by God, you will come across them. I call them destiny destroyers.